Welcome to the channel everyone. My name is Ian Yarwood and I'm a lawyer here in Perth, Western Australia. Now as many of you would already know, a couple of days ago I published a video on YouTube with a thumbnail very similar to that. That is the updated thumbnail. It was about a uh, woman who died on Koh Tao back in about 2004 or 2005. And at the time, I did not actually know her Japanese name, but uh, thanks to you, my viewers, um, I've been given some information which uh, allowed me to identify her correct name. And also, I was able to find some other information on the internet, thanks to you, my viewers. And I'd like to just read two tributes to um, Charlene, uh, the diving instructor who died. Uh, because it just uh, gives a bit more background as to uh, who she was. The first uh, is uh, several paragraphs from an article that was published in the Phuket Gazette back on the 16th of April 2005 and the journalist is Chris Cruz. And this comes from page 16 of the Phuket Gazette and it reads as follows. Julie Back the operations manager of the Koh Tao Dive Operators Club, KTDOC, is vibrant with energy. The only paid employee of KTDOC, 27-year-old Jilly, is an exotic mix of ancestry and influence. Raised in the Republic of South Africa by Jewish parents, Jilly migrated to Israel with her family when she was 11, then lived in England for five years before moving to Thailand two years ago. Quote, the KTDOC was organized in 2003 by the majority of the owners and managers of dive businesses who wanted to stop the wheeling and dealing going on around the island, quote, she explained. Quote, one of the main influences in the formation of the KTDOC was a Japanese lady by the name of Charlene and in the article, they say Charlene Sawasa, but her real name is Charlene uh, Sazawa. But look, we'll forgive uh, the Phuket uh, Gazette and Chris Cruz for one error, one small error. Uh, so it was the formation was a Japanese lady by the name of uh, Charlene, a diving instructor who lived on the island for 12 years. So it's interesting to know that she was there for 12 years. Quote, unfortunately, she recently passed away, but it is her vision that guides the organization today. She pushed hard for the preservation of the environment and the sustainable development of Koh Tao from the first day she stepped on the island. She's one of the reasons why I'm doing this job. Somebody has to continue the work that she started. I think Charlene realized early on how necessary and important it was to preserve Koh Tao. When she saw that the diving industry was growing as more people came, she realized that the impact on the environment could be adverse. And then the article goes on uh, a bit longer, but uh, they were the references to Charlene. At the very end, the, actually the uh, article is, is cut short at the very end, but it uh, talks about the KTDOC continuing Charlene's legacy. So that was the first article and that appeared on the 16th of April 2005 as I said so we know that Charlene uh, died before uh, the 16th of April 2005. Now this second tribute is a much more personal one it comes from an American lady and it was uh, published on a tribute page called Tribute to Charlene all one word and Charlene is S-H-A-R-L-Y-N dot blogspot all one word dot com and it's from the uh, Chic Chauffeur is the name that this lady uses and uh, she's an American lady and this is in response to um, another another tribute uh, that was um, more personal that came from a uh, a fellow who uh, had a lot of affection for Charlene. But the chic chauffeur writes as follows. She said, I'm sorry for your loss. 
Yoshi lived with my family our senior year in high school, brackets 1982 to 1983, close brackets. I am only now finding out about her death as I was searching for her after the horrible events that have occurred recently in Japan. I can't tell you how bereft I feel. She definitely brought joy into any room she entered, kindest regards. And that was published on the 14th of March 2011. And I think that tomorrow or the next day I may uh, make a brief video with the, with the longer uh, tribute from the man who had a romantic interest in Charlene. And there are a couple of reasons why I wanted to share those tributes with you. Firstly, it's important to realize that all of these people who've died on Koh Tao are not mere statistics. They had family, they had friends, they had people who cared about them. Also, both of the tributes that I've just read through now just reveal a bit more about Charlene. So she isn't just a face, isn't just a name. Uh, she actually uh, worked, as, amongst other things, as a translator. And we know that because she spent some time in the early 1980s uh, living and uh, attending school there, uh, that would certainly have uh, assisted her with her command of the English language. Well, that's it. Uh, if you enjoyed this video at all, or if you thought that it was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, please share it with your friends, and uh, please subscribe if you haven't already done so. In the meantime, please stay safe. Bye for now.